God told me part two. What I'm going to try to do in a series of videos is prove his riddle. Last time I talked about brown, what I found interesting about this one was the golden rainbow in 1858. He talks about a map. On this map, it's British Columbia. And it was 1858. And they sent this map back to England. 1860, there was a bit of a gold rush. And then there was a massive gold here, but you never heard about it. Because when you hear of a massive gold finding, it's the best, you keep it a secret. We made a national park, national park, national park, all around the town of Revelstoke. Golden is a town and so is Fields. So if you imagine on a map, Golden Fields is a town and the biggest gold deposit is right up here. And that's called Downy Peak. See, there's people coming. So that's, that's a hint of um, a good map and uh, hints of titles in new and old. Hey, cameraman, go straight. They're complaining last time the footage is crap. It's gotta go the other way. Yeah, they're, they're so critical of me. Eh? I'm just trying to share the love. Well, that's cool, man. Like, hey, like, yeah, I don't so want to get paid here. And then in this book, I've been reading it. And what I'm gonna do Which is, book is that? This is the one with the gold. Oh, the gold thing. Yeah. Oh, God, this is the story about the gold? Totally. Okay, cool. And on it in here, he wrote a riddle. I had it saved. Did you, were you reading this book again? Um, I just used it for rolling papers. I highlighted it. And as it says, I've gone in there alone and with my treasures bold, I can keep my secret with and hints of riches new and old. I think I proved that with the map. The second proof will be beginning where warm honors halt and taken in the canyon down. Not far, but too far. Put below the home of the ground. On this map here, if you took the warm waters from the Pacific Ocean that come over those mountains right there, uh, which mountain is that one right up there? Well, that's Mount Bigby, the one of the three peaks. He Mount was the Mount judge. Mount Bigby was the judge. Yeah, that's right. And he looks down on the Okokolux Falls, which had a slide today. And if anything happened in that slide, I don't understand why things happen, but I pray that their souls will be safe. And so the golden fields up here, there's this guy Downey, and he has this band that tragically hip, and they sing about the gold. No, about this map. Oh, the map. And they right. say forget about it. But I just thought it was fitting because my one friend, uh, Mikey, he told me distract constructive literature. You distract a uh, poem, you make it work for your favor. So my theory is, is that the goals in the Cocolettes, I'll prove it working backwards. Within my videos coming up, I will go through every nine clues. I'll even keep them a couple of bonus ones. Get the extra Dude, marks. there's a truck coming. Can I put it down? Um, no, keep going. And I'll do book reports on these ones, so I'll do a book report on that one. Click the link. I don't want to waste anybody's valuable time. And I'll click links. <laughs> My favorite book was to read Choose Your Own Adventure, so I'll try to do it that style. And all I'll say is that this is William Downey. Yep. He was here in 1860. He was told to go home. This is the guy singing the song. So That's beautiful. Gordon Downey. That's Gordon Downey. He's singing the song about this map. About the map. Well, I tried instinctively to give him this jersey because it was signed by Gordy Howe and I wanted to gift it to him because I thought that'd be a rad thing to do because it's just material as shit. Okay, I'm you know on overtime. It's 3.23. And that's what brought me to him and I was drawn to the gold. Oh, the gold's way over there. Two hearts. Hey, anyways, I'm kind of busy. Your NHL playoffs are on, dude. Can I go watch? Yeah.